Yeah, shall we get started? Yes. Sir. Yes. So today, mostly you people are going to solve. I'm going to monitor. Right. Okay. What is this? You look at this problem and don't look. Don't See, two minutes for each problem. Do it fast. How many are there? 34, huh? 32, right? We are the 17. So uh, I think we have 16 more problems, including this. Right? We are done with 16. Right? So we'll start with this. Do it fast. If the 4th, 10th, and the 16th terms of GP are XY and Z, respectively, prove that XY, Z are in GP. If the 4th, 10th, and 16th terms of GP are XYZ, respectively, prove that XYZ are in GP. So even before you start, you tell me. So if you need to prove that three terms are in GP, what is that you need to get? Yeah, Common yeah, ratio. Actually. Common ratio is equal, but here you have XYZ. No, how Instead of, see, why do we need to complicate it? Very simple. If three terms are in GP, what is the condition? The ratio of the subsequent terms should be the same. Means, y by x should be equal to z by y. Or to put it simple, y square is equal to x into z. Only if you know what you're supposed to prove, you'll know how to approach. So you should always think about these problems in the reverse. Did you understand what I told you? So what are they asking? Prove that x, y, z are in GP means... You need to prove that y square is equal to xz. So to get y square is equal to xz, what you're going to do is you're going to use the condition that they have already given. Here y square is equal to xz. Ratio. So if a, b, c are in gp, what is the condition? What is the relation between them? b by a is equal to? Here is the b by a is equal to? B, a, b, c by x, y, z here. So b square is a middle term. Huh? So in x, y, z, what is the middle term? So y square should be equal to x, z. That is what you need to prove. So if you are able to prove y square is equal to x, z, if you need to prove that, what is that we need to make use of? What is the tool you need to make use of? Something that they have given in the beginning. Make use of it. Okay? So do it fast. Try it. Try it. Whatever you are able to do, do it. I want to check how much you have understood. So to prove is y square is equal to xz. What is the given condition? Fourth. So if I take the first term to be a and the common ratio to be r, then a r cube is equal to x. a r power 9 is equal to a r power 15 is equal to z. Those who are online are able to understand what I'm saying. Yes, so. So for the 17th problem, if the 4th, 10th, and 16th terms of GP are XYZ respectively, prove that XYZ are in GP. So what is to be proved? So to prove Y by X is equal to 
z by y that implies y square is equal to xz right so for that we are going to make use of the given condition so what is the given condition here a r cube is equal to x where a is going to be the first term r is going to be the common ratio similarly a r power 9 is equal to y and a r power 15 is equal to z so all that you need to do is find out what is y square y square is a square r power a square r power 18 so what is x into z x into z is a square r power 18 they both are equal hence proof right y square is a square r power 18 xz is a square r power 18 since y square is coming out to be xz we can conclude that x y and z are in geometric progression so did you understand wherever you need to prove something first you need to understand what you're supposed to prove based on that you will make use of the given data so these are the two simple steps to be followed shall i proceed hmm. find the sum of n terms right so the 18th question is Find the sum of n terms of the sequence 8, 88, 888, 8, 8, 8, so 8888, 8, 8, 8, so on. Sn is equal to how much? 8 plus 88 plus 888 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, plus 888, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, So if, what you need to do is first take out the 8. So when you take out 8 outside, you will have 1 plus 11 plus 111 plus 1111 plus so on. How many terms are there? N terms are there. It's not infinite series. It is a finite series. Right. Then you need to multiply and divide it with a special number that is 9. So you need to multiply and divide it with 9. So multiply with 9 and compensate it with 9 so that 8 by 9 will get multiplied with this 9 goes inside. So what will happen? It will be 9 plus 99 plus triple 9 plus 9999 plus so on. So we do this because you can relate 9 to 10. You can relate 99 to 10 square. You can relate 999 to 10 cube. Right? So when you do this, you get 8 divided by 9 into 9 is written as 10 minus 1 plus 99 is written as 10 square minus 1 plus 999 is written as 10 cube minus 1 plus this is written as 10 power 4 minus 1 plus so on till the nth term. Right? So this will be equal to how much? 8 by 9 multiplied with 10 plus 10 square plus 10 cube. So 10 plus 10 square plus 10 cube plus so on till 10 power n minus 1 added to itself n times is going to be n. Is there any doubt in this? So 1 is getting added to itself n times. So it will be n times 1 which is n itself. Am I clear with that? So for 10 plus 10 square plus 10 cube, if you observe, this is in geometric progression, right? So for geometric progression, what is going to be the sum of n terms? A into, that is 10 into, A into, R is how much? 10 square by 10, it is 10. So A into A power n minus 1 divided by A, A uh, divided by R minus 1. So, A into R power N minus 1 by R minus 1. R is 10. So, 10 minus 1 is 9. And you have minus N. And this should be the answer. Is the point clear? Right.
Done? Do the next one. Find the sum of the products of the corresponding terms of the sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, so on till 128. Oh, sorry. 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 128, 32, 8, 2, half. Read the question carefully. Find the sum of the products of the corresponding terms of two sequences. So what is the first term of the sequence? First term of the first sequence, 2. What is the first term of the second sequence? 128. Basically, 128 is 2 power. 2 power 5 is 32. 2 power 7. So it will be 2 power 7 into 2, which is going to be 2 power 8. So 2 into 128 is 2 power 8. Similarly, 4 into 32. 4 is 2 square, 32 is 2 power 5. So 2 square into 2 power 5 is 2 power 2 power 7. Uh, 8 is 2 cube. Again, 8 is 2 cube. So how is the sequence coming out to be? 2 power 8, 2 power 7, 2 power 6. It keeps on going like that. So you need to find the sum of those sequence. Sum of the turns in those sequence. Is the point clear? Can you try it out? The 19th question is find the sum of the products of the corresponding terms of the sequences 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and 128, 32, 8, 2 and half. So the first term in the first sequence is 2. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what I'm doing. That's what I told you. Right. So, the first term of the first sequence is 2. The first term of the second sequence is 128. 128 is 2 power 7. So, this will become the first term of the new sequence. Right. So, A is equal, A1 is equal to 2 power 8. What about A2? A2 will be 2 square into 2 power 5. So, it will be 2 square into 2 power 5, which is going to be 2 power 7. What about A3? It will be 2 cube into 2 cube, which will be 2 power 6. Right. What about A4? It will be so 2 power 4 into 2, which will be 2 power 5. And what about A5? A5 will be 2 power 5 into 2 power minus 1, which will be 2 power 4. Is that clear? So if you observe the sequence, it's going in this order. So the first term is 2 power 8 and R is equal to half. So 2 power 7 by 2 power 8 is going to be half. There is one common mistake that will be done. Some people will take the common ratio as 2. Don't do that mistake. Common ratio is always second term by first term, not the first by second. Okay. So what is going to be the sum of, how many terms are there? The sum of the five terms is going to be A into A into 1 minus R power N divided by 1 minus R. So A is 
2 power 8 into 1 minus R is half. So 1 by 2 raised to the power of N is 5, the whole divided by 1 minus 1 by 5. So how much will it be? 2 power 8. So 2 power 8 into 2 power 5 is 32. So 32 minus 1 is going to give us 31. And I will leave this as it is 2 power 5 itself. The whole divided by 5 minus 1 by 5 is going to be 4 by 5. So, sorry, 1 by 2. Correction. 1 minus half. Right? It's 1 minus half. So, it is going to be half here. So, this 2 will cancel this 5 4 times. So, 2 power 8 divided by 2 power 4 is going to be 2 power 4. So, it is 2 power 4 times 31. So, 2 power 4 times 31 is going to be the sum of all these numbers. Okay. Right. You want to write this as 256, sir. Why again? So, anyways, it is going to get cancelled. Now, you are left out with 2 power 4 only. 2 power 4 is 16. 16 into 31, it's easier to calculate. So, it should be 480 plus 16. 5164. Or 16, right? 480, uh, 496. Sorry. Am I clear with this? So don't wait for me. Keep doing. You proceed. Don't wait. Done? Try this. Show that the products of the corresponding terms of the sequence A, A, R, A, R square, so on until A, R power N minus 1 and A, A, R, A, R square, so on until A, R power N minus 1 form a GP and find the common ratio of the geometric progression. So this one I'll do it. This one. So the 20th problem is show that the product of the corresponding terms of the sequences. So there are two sequences here. One is small a, small a into small r, a r square, so on till a r power n minus 1. And the other sequence is going to be capital A, capital A into capital R, capital A r square, so on till a r power n minus 1. So what we need to prove is that the product of the corresponding terms in these two sequences would form a geometric progression. So if I take the first term that is formed by taking the product of the corresponding terms as a1, that will be equal to small a multiplied with capital A. Similarly, if I take a2, right, second term of the new sequence, it is going to be ar multiplied with capital AR. Right, second and second. What about a3? A3 is equal to A R square into capital A R square. It keeps working like this. So what would be the nth term? So A n is equal to, I keep on writing it like this. What is going to be the value of A n? Small a R power n minus 1 into capital A capital R power n minus 1. Am I right? So if you observe, this is going to be A into capital A. Here it is going to be A into capital A into R into small r into capital R. What will be the next term? A into capital A into R capital R the whole square. Right? So I will write the next term also. It will be A capital A into R capital R the whole cube. Right? Hmm? 
isn't it what power four up they both are not same basis smaller and capital r are not the same okay so so on till a into capital a into small r into capital r raised to the power of n minus one now if you observe the ratio of the subsequent terms is coming out to be smaller see it is a a into small r into capital r divided by small a into capital a this term divided by this term cancel them it is coming out to be small r into capital r if you take the ratio of the third term and the second term so ratio of third term so third term in the numerator is a into capital a into small r into capital r the whole square the whole divided by a into capital a small r into capital r cancel this and this small r into capital r will cancel this one so you are getting the answer as small r into capital r like this if you take any subsequent term and write the ratios of them you will always get the common ratio to be small r into capital r hence you can conclude that they are in geometric progression and the common ratio is how much and the common ratio is small r into capital r is the point clear yes Shall I proceed? See, in your schools and all, if at all they give you any assignment or something, right? How do they send you the announce, uh, updates? Maybe in a WhatsApp or my like Google Classroom, I just put that. Only message, SMS, DAV. <laughs> For example, I am saying this because I am saying this because I am saying this because Parent Salam is work, man. What is the name of the term? Parent Salam. Never skip. So you don't get the class notes or something in your. Yeah, be. In the notes, I have a class of goods. Yeah. 
you say you told no you told no, you told no but i want i wanted to understand because edhu kekrena i wanted to understand if i can do something here i pada the see for example for doubts you have a student support number right i'm thinking if something else can be done ena ore number vandu one person will handle it it's getting difficult doubts and will communicate aga or story it gets missed so i wanted to check if there is any other technology they are using so if you have any doubts or something what do they do in school iruka <laughs> யார் சாடுகிறா கிளாஸ் மேட்ஸா ஓகே லெட்ஸ் சி ஐம் ஜஸ்ட் திங்கிங் ஆஃப் இட் சோ கம்யூனிகேஷன் எல்லாமே யூ கெட் only through whatsapp or uh, sms உனக்கு எப்படி வரும் இப்போ நாளைக்கு ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் சடனாக கேன்சல் ஆகும் ஸ்கூல் லீவ் அப்படின்னா எஸ்எம்எஸ் வாட்ஸ்அப் உங்களுக்கு வாட்ஸ்அப் இருக்கு எதுரா ஓகே அதுக்கு அதில் ஒரு நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன் வருமா புஷ் நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன் மாதிரி ஓகே சரி ஓகே ட்ரைஸஸ் find four numbers forming a geometric progression in which the third term is greater than the first term by 9 and the second term is larger than the fourth term by 18 so i'll give you the hint tell me how many numbers are we supposed to find four but for you to write the geometric progression right if you if you need to write a geometric progression how many terms are supposed to be known to you it is only two i am not sorry how many variables are supposed to be known to you two what are they if you know the first term and if you know the common ratio you will be able to do it so in this problem if you see both are not given but they are expecting you write you to write four terms so how many unknowns two unknowns to solve two unknowns how many equations are needed are needed mathematically two so for you to get those two equations there are two conditions given so use those two conditions frame the equation solve it you will get the answer clear so the 21st problem find four numbers forming geometric progression in which the third term is greater than the first term by 9 and the second term is greater than the fourth term by 18 so let the first term be a and the common ratio be r so that the first term is a the common uh, the second term is going to be ar third term is ar square and the fourth term is ar cube so what did they give third term is greater than the first term 
So third term is greater than the first term, meaning a r square minus a is equal to how much? Third term is greater than the first term by 9. a r square minus a is equal to 9. Similarly, the second term is greater than the fourth term. The second term is a r. It is greater than the third, uh, fourth term a r cube by 18. Is that clear? So here if you observe a into r square minus 1 is equal to 9. In this, I should take out a r common, a r into 1 minus r square is equal to 18. So divide both. When you divide the second by 1, right? if I take this as the first equation, if I take this as the second equation, second divided by 1 is going to be a r into 1 minus r square divided by a into r square minus 1 is equal to 18 by 9 is 2. So a a and a will get cancelled. R square minus 1 by 1 minus R square is minus 1. So this implies minus R is equal to 2 or R is equal to minus 2. So R is equal to minus 2 means substitute it back in any one of the equation. I'll take this and substitute it in first one. So A into 4 minus 1 is equal to 9. So 4 minus 1 is 3. So 3a is equal to 9 implies a is equal to 3. So since I know the first term and r, now it is easy to write. So first term is 3. Second term is minus 6. Third term is 12. And the fourth term is minus 8. Right. Here with this, so it is minus 24. Any doubt? Here we go. Try this. The small p. So a power q minus r into b power r minus p into c power p minus q is equal to 1. So try it. So how will you start doing it? Let's say the first term is, see here you don't take it as A because in this case A is not the first term, some pth term. So A is not the first term, another. don't take it as small A, take it as capital A. So capital A you take it as first term, capital R you take it as common ratio. Okay. So then what will be the value of small A in terms of capital A? A R power, correct danda. A R power P minus one. So what will be small b in terms of capital A R? A R power Q minus one. So small c will be A R power R minus one. So other which is all for.
So could you solve it? What is there not? What is there not to understand? So all that you need to substitute those values of whatever we have derived. Listen. So the 22nd question is, if the P, Q and R terms of a GP are A, B and C respectively, prove that A power Q minus R into B power R minus P into C power P minus Q is equal to 1. One thing if you observe, the powers are in the cyclic order. Q minus R, R minus P, P minus Q. Right. So all that we need to do is, we need to understand or write small a, small b and small c, uh, c in terms of some common parameters for that, what we'll do is in this GP, let's take the first term to be capital A and the common ratio to be R, right? So A is going to be A into R power P minus one is equal to small a, except similarly, A into R power Q minus one is equal to small b and A into R power R minus 1 is equal to small c. So if I want the nth term, how will I write it? AR power n minus 1. So PQR, I wrote it in this way. Now, I have no other option. The only thing that I need to do is I need to take this ABC and substitute it here and then solve. I cannot do anything beyond that. Right? So what is given? To prove A power Q minus R into B power R minus P into C power P minus Q is equal to 1. So I have small a substituted here. Capital A into R raised to the power P minus 1 into Q minus R into B is how much? A R power Q minus 1 into or to the power of R minus P. And C is a r to the power r minus 1 to the power of p minus q. I should take only LHS because I want this product to come out as 1. That is what I need to prove. Right. So if you observe, I'll take out the power of, I'll, I'll take out a with their respective powers. So here, a to the power of q minus r into, into, a to the power of R minus P into A to the power of P minus Q into R to the power of R to the power of P minus 1 into Q minus R. So just multiply them. What are you going to get? You will get PQ minus PR minus Q plus R. Am I right? Into r to the power of q minus 1 into r minus p. So what are you going to have? You are going to have qr minus qp minus r plus p into what do you have? Into r raised to the power of pr so minus qr minus p plus q. I hope this is clear. Now, if you observe, here I took the same base. So, when the bases are same, the powers get added. So, A raised to the power of, it is very simple, Q minus R, R minus P and P minus Q. If they get added, what is that you are going to get? You will get a 0. The, it will be A power 0. Because it is C. Q minus R plus R minus P plus P minus Q. So, Q and Q are gone. R and R are gone. P and P are gone. It's a cyclic order, right? So here you will get a power 0. In a similar way, here also you will have r raised to the power of add everything, add all the powers. So pq minus pr minus q plus r plus qr minus qp minus r plus p plus pr minus qr minus p plus q. So all this is in the power. So PQ is there, PQ should get cancelled with QP. PQ and QP are same. Similarly, minus PR will get cancelled with plus PR. So minus Q will get cancelled with 
plus Q. R will get cancelled with minus R. QR will get cancelled with minus QR. P will get cancelled with minus P. So it is A power 0 into R power 0, which is 1. That's it. Right? So this is how we approach. Done with this? So, the 23rd problem is, if the first and the nth term of a GP are small a and d. So, let the first term be capital A. Okay, they have given it as small a, right? Yeah. So, let the first term be small a as they have given it here. And the common ratio be smaller. So, a is given, r is assumed by us. Right. So, what did they say? A r power n minus 1. So, it is A r power n minus 1 is equal to B. Am I right? And the capital P is considered to be the product of n terms. So, the first term is A. Second term is A r. Third term is A r square. So, on till A r power n minus 1. Am I right? So, A is getting multiplied with A how many times? n times. So, here you will have a power n into r is getting multiplied in such a way that you have r raised to the power of 1 plus 2 plus so on till n minus 1. Am I clear with this? Right. So, it is going to be 1 minute. So, for product they gave us capital P, right? So, this is the value of capital P that is given here. So, it is a power n into r power 1 plus 2 plus so on till n minus 1. Am I clear till this step? Now, if you observe, this is a power n. I am leaving it as it is. r raised to the power of, see, 1 plus 2 plus so on till n minus 1 is going to be arithmetic progression. So, what are the sum of the n terms in arithmetic progression? It is n by 2. So, many terms are there? From 1 to n minus 1, there are n minus 1 terms. So, r raised to the power of n minus 1 by 2 into first term plus last term. So, what is the first term? 1 and the last term is n minus 1. So, 1 and 1 will get cancelled. I wrote n by 2 into a plus n. First term plus last term. Right. So, it is a power n into r power n into n minus 1, the whole divided by 2. Right. This is going to be the value of P. Let me call this as 1. So, what are they asking? P square. 
So what is the value of p square? So p square is equal to a power n into r power n into n minus 1 by 2 the whole square. Right. For this you have the whole square. So this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled. So what are you going to have? It is a power n into r power n into n minus 1 and this is going to be Am I clear with this? Right. Now, a b raised to the power n means what? a is a only. What is the value of b? b is r power n minus 1. So, if you observe, a b raised to the power n is equal to a into, what is the value of b? a to the power, sorry, a into r to the power of n minus 1, the whole raised to the power n. Right. So, what will happen here? It will be a power n. Right. So, but one minute, there is a change here. So, this 2 is there. No. So, when you put it as square, actually, this 2 will get multiplied with both the terms. The 2 will get multiplied with both the terms. So, it will be a power 2n into r raised to the power of n into n minus 1. So, am I clear with this term? So, similarly, when you write a b to the power n, it is going to be a square. Right? So, a square raised to the power n is going to be how much? a power 2n into r raised to the power of n minus 1 into n is going to be how much? n into n minus 1. Let me call this as 3. If you observe, 2 and 3 are the same. That is, RH is the same. So, LHS should be the same. That is why P square is equal to AB raised to the power N. Right? Done. Shall I proceed? So listen. Shall I proceed? Show that the ratio of the sum of first n terms of GP to the sum of n terms from n plus 1 through 2 n term is r by n. So listen, 24th problem is show that the ratio of sum of the first n terms of GP to the sum of the terms from n plus 1 to 2nth term is 1 by r power n. So, when I calculate, if I take the first term to be a and the common ratio to be r, then what is going to be the sum of the first n terms? a into r power n minus 1, the whole divided by r minus 1, except So, let this be equation number 1. Now, the sum of terms from n plus 1 to 2nth term. So, what is going to be the n plus 1th term? a n plus 1 will be equal to a r to the power n. So, what basically see, if it is nth term, it is a r power n minus 1. If it is n plus 1th term, a r power n plus 1 minus 1. So, which will be a r raised to the power of n. 
Similarly, what will be the 2nth term? So, a 2n is equal to a r raised to the power of 2n minus 1. Am I clear with this? Now, they are asking, find the sum of the terms from here to here. So, let me call this as s n dash. Okay. That is the sum of the terms from n plus 1 to 2n plus 1. So, let me call it as s n dash. This will be equal to, what is going to be the first term? AR to the power n. What will be the next term? AR to the power n plus 1. So, where am I writing it till? AR to the power of 2n minus 1. Right. So, what can I take out common? AR power n can be taken out common. So, if I take out AR power n common, then observe what am I going to get. I will have 1 plus AR plus AR square. Because what will you have? AR power n plus 2 is what you are going to have. I will tell you why I am writing it like this. AR power n, I hope you would have understood. AR power n plus 1 can be written as AR power n into R. Right. So, what I can do is, instead of taking AR power n, I will take only R power n outside. Okay. So, if I take R power, okay, I will do, I will write the step alone again. This side. So, listen. I will take R power n outside. So, when I take R power n outside, what is going to be the first term? It will be A. What is going to be the second term? So, it is A R power n plus 1. No, A R power n plus 1 can be written as A R power n into R. So, what is that I have taken out common? R power n is taken out common. So, what is left out inside? So, what will be the next term? A R power n plus 2. So, you can write it as A R power n into a square, sorry, R square. So, A R power n into R square. So, what is that I have taken out? R power n is taken out. So, what will be the next term? So, like this, if I keep on writing it, what will this term be? A R power 2 n minus 1 can be written as a r power 2n divided by a. Sorry, divided by r. a r power 2n divided by r. Can I write it like this? Right. Now, what is that I have taken out common? It is r power n that I have taken out common. So, what will be left out inside? Ah, sorry. Yeah, it will be if I take out this, no, A into R square, the whole power N or A power N the whole square divided by R. So, you tell me what will be the remainder. Is it AR? Check and tell. AR. If you are saying it is AR, no, you are trying to say that this R is cancelling this 2 power N this minute. Actually, this AR, AR power 2n, 2n minus 1. You can leave it as AR power 2n minus 1 itself. We need not do anything to it. Okay. So, it is going to be AR power 2n minus 1 itself. Okay. So, now you tell me how many terms are there actually. So, this is going to be R power n into A plus AR plus AR square plus so on till. Oh, sorry. You have to take out that R power n, no? I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So, A R power 2 n minus 1 is going to be A by R into R power 2 n. I'll write and show. Listen. Listen to this carefully.
this up. I'm erasing this part. So, if I have AR power 2n minus 1, what is it I have taken outside? R power n. So, this can I write it as AR power 2n divided by R, which is nothing but A by R into R power 2n. Right. The whole divided by, what should I write? R power n. So, A R power 2n by R power n, how many times will it get cancelled? Oh, you were right only there, correct. So, it will get cancelled R square and it will be R, correct. So, this is this should be A R. But the pattern is, it should come out as A R power n. I'll tell you why I am saying it should come out as A R power n is, observe. Some of the first terms, this thing. Huh? So, A into R power n minus 1 divided by R minus 1. Huh? Some of the terms from n plus 1 to 2 n term should be how much? So, it should be in such a way that I should have this R power n in the denominator. Now, what I need to do is I need to divide these two. When I divide these two, what is it I am going to have in the denominator? I should have this as R power n into A into R power n minus 1 divided by R minus 1. So that this and this will completely get cancelled so that I'll get 1 divided by r power n. So I'm just checking where the mistake has happened. So a r power 2n minus 1. It should come out as a r power n. Is the question right? Can you please check in the textbook? Is it the same question? Or they, they give it as 2n plus 1. n plus 1 to 2 2nth term or 2n plus 1th term. 2nth only, yeah? Okay. One minute. Let me do it again and see. Next slide. So, what is that we have taken? R power n. So, you have a plus ar plus ar square plus so on till ar power this ar power 2n minus 1 has square. So, 2n term is ar power 2n minus 1. Okay. It's a mistake. It is AR power n minus 1. That's a mistake. I was cancelling that too. One minute. <clears throat> Got the answer. But did you understand where I found that is wrong? So if it has to come out as 1 by R power n, then what should happen? This and this should be the same. If that should be the case, then this value should be how much? It should be a r power n minus 1. Now we'll get it. We got that C. It is a r power. It is 2n minus 1. No. So it should come out as a r power n minus 1. I'll tell you why. See, listen. We have taken out r power n outside, right? It is a r power 2n minus 1 divided by r power n, right? So, are you accepting that it is a by r into r power 2n divided by r, right? So, this is going to be a by, sorry, r power n, uh, a by r into r power 2n minus n is going to be n. For uh, r power 2n by r power n is r power 2n minus n. You should not cancel r power n and r power n. Are you able to understand when the base is same, the powers will get subtracted when you divide them. So it is r power 2n. So r is going to cancel this and you are left out with a into r power n minus 1. So this will be a into r power n minus 1. Now this is of the form sum of the first n terms. 
So basically, there is nothing but right. It is nothing but r power n into S n itself. So r power n into S n is equal to S n dash, which implies S n divided by S n dash is equal to one divided by r power n, and that is what they asked us to prove. So is S n dash is equal to r power n into this whole thing is nothing but S n itself. So rearrange the equation. S n divided by S n dash is equal to one divided by r power. That's it. So this is where the mistake. Okay, but I am clear. Or is there anyone who wants me to explain? Either in the part. Either way. Either way. Okay. Come again, AR power N. You want to take AR power N outside. Ah, oh, that's also okay. So AR power 2N minus 1. Okay, what it what is that? I took out common. R power N divide pandama. Right. So when I need to divide it with r power n, what I'm saying is this is written as a r power 2n divided by r. Why by r? Because you have a minus 1. So it is going to be divided by r into 1 divided by this r power n is there. Is very clear? Right. Now, a by r, leave it as it is. Okay. a by r into r power 2n minus n varo. You know, r power 2n divided by r power 2n divided by r power n is equal to r power 2n minus n which is nothing but r power n itself. Anala, it will be a by r into r power n or this can also be written as a into r power n minus 1. That is one way. Okay. Now she suggested something stating that a r power 2n minus 1 you can actually write it as a so r power n into r power n minus 1. This is actually simpler. So when you write it as a r power n into r power n minus 1, when you add the base is the same r. So when you add the powers, what will it be? n to n minus 1. So from this, you take out r power n common. What is it you are left out inside? It is a r power n minus 1. a r power n minus 1 is the nth term. So, sum of those terms is SM. Am I clear now? So, that's what you are going to get. Those are online. Am I clear? Yes. Okay. Done now. We'll do one last problem. So try this out. If A, B, C, D, R, and G, P show that A square plus B square plus C square into B square plus C square plus B square is equal to A, B plus B, C plus C, D the whole square.
So are you getting the idea? It's slightly a lengthy problem. AC is equal to? Uh, you want to take like that and solve? Okay, are you proceeding like that then? A, AR, AR square. Okay, AR cube. Huh. That also you can do, but maybe he's trying with this. No, I wanted to check if this works. If I want, you want to start with RHS or LHS? No, I want only one set. You take only one. You want to take LHS and start. Okay. If you want to take LHS and solve, then A square plus A square R square plus R A square R power 4 into A square R square plus or do like this. Okay. So what will you take out common? A square into 1 plus R square plus R power 4 into you can take out R square common from here. Right, from here I can take out R square common. It will be 1 plus R square plus R power 4. So it is A square R square into 1 plus R square plus R power 4 the whole square. That is what you are getting. But okay. See, unless you are right, if let's say you get stuck at this step, there is no other option other than solving it from the other side also. You can do it. You can do that, but I'm generally not okay with that. You start with one and get the other side, but it's still accepted because you're following the same procedure what I explained. No? So this is from LHS. RHS, what you'll do? A, B, N, A square, R square. Uh, A square, R square. A square, R square. Here I've taken A square common. There I've taken a square r square common. So this should be a power 4 r square. It should be a power 4 r square into 1 plus r square plus r power 4 the whole square. Correct? In a square r square. Oh. A square. Oh. So the a b one the a square r ah, a square r okay correct on a b is a square r okay a square r cube this actually yeah you got the answer actually the whole square uh. so a square r a common editor so a square r a common editor, you will have 1 plus r square, sorry, 1 plus uh, 1 plus r square plus r r power 4 r power 4 r power 4 so the whole square for this so this tool, yes it is a square r power 4 into 1 plus r square plus r power 8. a power 4 r square okay a power 4 r square into 1 plus r square plus r power 4 both are same can do this so go with this or else what you have to do is you have to use a lot of algebra and then solve it one side and if you don't take the R into consideration. Because if you look at this, no, they are actually trying to follow some uh, identity. Identity actually is expand but this is looking like a factorized form. You're able to understand it is written as some b square. If I, if I, if I consider it as one number, either a number or treat pattern is for a b plus b c plus c d. I'm considering it to be some number b. So it is of the form b square is equal to I'll treat this as one number a and I'll treat this as number 
C. So it is of the form B square is equal to AC. So that's what they're expecting, but you have to deal with it internally. In the sense, if at all you literally follow, you don't take R into consideration and then start solving it directly. I'll tell you what is the problem you'll face. It's not a problem. You need to be very careful while solving it. So what will happen is since A, B, C, D are in GP, what can you write? You can One thing you can write is B square is equal to AC. Accepted. Similarly, C square is equal to BC. Right. Similarly, B by A is equal to D by C. The ratio of these two terms is equal to the ratio of these two subsequent terms. So then you will have BC is equal to AD. So you have to take this BC, substitute it here, and then start solving. Again, you need to expand A plus B plus C, the whole square. Common terms are the factor is you will get the left hand side. Actually, this method, the method which you people proposed is simpler, go with it. This is correct only, you can, you can do it like this. So by now you would have understood there is only one approach. What is it? Try to solve it only with two variables. What are they? A and R. Your life will be easy. Okay. So how many more are there? Seven more, right? We'll try to complete it tomorrow. Miscellaneous, how many problems are there? So how many more are left? Seven plus 18 means 25 problems are there, right? So how much ever possible, I'll do it tomorrow. With that, I'll wind up this chapter. Remaining problems, you have to try, right? Okay, next week, I'll start binomial theorem. Is it point clear? So those are online, are you clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you wind up? Yes, sir. Yeah. So you can close this. Can you leave? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.